Okay, let's get the show on the road. Let's do it. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my stream. I'm Pierre, your host. And we're starting a little late or a little early, depends how you look at it. I am uh, having, we were having problems with uh, my microphone. Um, this is a brand new macro microphone. I have a Synco mic. And uh, with my old microphone, I could uh, talk, of course, <clears throat> and I could listen to the music I was playing on my monitors. With this new microphone, I couldn't do that. It was either the mic that was working or the monitors, and I could hear the music, but I couldn't get both. So with Francois, who is the artist that's in the studio right next door, we just spent like 45 minutes trying to figure out this new microphone. And finally, we got everything working the way it should, where now I can talk and listen to the music that I'm playing on my monitor. So we got all that solved. The problem was that the jack I was using had a three-pronged thing on it, which means that I could use it on uh, headsets. But that would cut out, of course, the microphone or the uh, speakers on my monitor. So uh, when we realized it was a question of the jack, all I had to do is just go look in all the crap that I have. I have tons of electro electrical uh, jacks and inputs and whatnot, and we found what we needed. So we got that problem resolved and very happy to do so. But it did make me a little late. But anyways, with all these time differences between the States and France where I am, uh, it doesn't really matter, right? The main thing is that we got the show on the road. So let's start off our day because I would like to tackle uh, this uh, this section of my new painting, which is not a beer can that he's holding, but it's an hourglass. But first, let's go over to the computer, check out what we did yesterday very quickly, and then we'll tackle today's job. So what did we do yesterday? Well, we tackled these little flowers that are heart-shaped, putting in, first of all, a little shading on them. Then we added uh, some... Uh, little details to our background, and then we add a little bit of gold on these little flowers. So that was basically our day yesterday. And today, as I mentioned, I would like to tackle this uh, hourglass. So we're gonna do that right away. Let me just come over back to camera number two here. And I am going to start on this guy right away. So the first thing I have to do is just kind of draw a little bit and make some marks, figure out exactly what I'm going to do. So get my pencil out. And this is going to be at an awkward height for me. I'm not sure if my, my chair is going to be a little too low, isn't it? Definitely too low for the chair. So I'll have to grab uh, one of my bar stools that I have over there or over here for that matter. But I'll worry about that when it gets time to start painting. Just clean this up. I am a little disorganized since we started uh, well, working on the problems that we were having and didn't really take the time to either look at what I was doing or get ready to tackle this, this baby. So, so what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna want this to go a little bit like this, down like this, I guess. And then right here. Something like that, very well, very good. And then we'll go down on the edges as well. I don't think I have to draw that. I think I can just go and start painting it. So I'm gonna start with the outer frame, then we'll do the sand, and then I'll do the see-through part afterwards. I think that's the best and smartest way to tackle this. 
So I am going to get a little palette out, get some, uh, what is this? Burnt umber. So I'm going to start and do my outer shell in burnt umber. Yet I'm going to, I uh, guess I shouldn't throw my head back to get my hair out of the way. It must look pretty weird. I'm going to lighten it up with a little bit of white paint. And having the music in the background is important because like that I can concentrate on my work and don't have to talk. So that's pretty helpful. And at the same time, I can hear the music, which is also very enjoyable. But it also keeps me, I know what's going on and what, because I'm so concentrated sometimes I don't really realize if the, what camera is on or if the music is on or, you know, I, I kind of lose track of where I am as a, uh, as this stream is uh, going on and my pain is going on. So whatever, I'm just rambling on. So I am going to get this umber brown, which is very stiff. Going to work this with a little bit of water. And you know what? I'm going to just come over here and we're going to do this on camera number one together. I mean, it's not really, it's not rocket science or anything. You don't have to be a genius to do this, but anyways, so. Just going to try to get this to be a nice, nice consistency that flows on the, here you can see it's very thick and not very practical to paint with at all. So I'm going to just work on the on the umber first and then I'll add the just a little bit of white paint to lighten it up a little bit and use the darker color as a sort of a shading. So there we go. I think it needs another little dab of water. I don't have much of a surface, so I don't need a large quantity of paint. Just the right amount, I guess. There we go. So on Sunday, we are moving our clocks forward. So we'll be able to catch up with the U.S. who have already started like last week, I think it was already, or two weeks ago, which kind of throws off my schedule. I like starting at 9 a.m. in the States, but now it's 10 a.m. And starting next Monday, I'll be back to 9 a.m. because we'll be caught up. So, this should do the trick. Maybe that's still a little dark. So I'm just going to bring in just a little bit of, of white in here. There we go. Make it a little bit lighter. doesn't look like I have that much paint, but like I said, I don't have that much of a surface to paint, so this should do it. Nice little chocolate color there. So what should I do? Should I add just a little drop of white? Just add a little bit more? Why not? Let's do that. Let's just lighten it up just another little bit. Make it milk chocolate. There we 
go. Much better. Much better. Let's bring everything to the center here. I already don't have all that much, so I don't want to lose it on the edges. There we go. Okay, so that should do the trick. Let's bring the camera back up into our canvas. And I'll kind of move things over to the side here. I'm going to just zoom in on what we're going to be painting, which is the hourglass. Come back over here for a split second. <clears throat> and I guess I'll move this bar stool over here and use this to sit on. Get this out of the way. Oops, not there. And I actually have like a little pillow I can use to plop my ass down. There we go. So let me just step back for a second. Okay. Very good. Okay, so, so let's switch over to camera number one. And let's get this show on the road here. Okay, I'm going to step back for a second, take a look. Okay, very good. This can come down just a little bit right here. All right. And I see this is really a little bit dark so I am going to lighten it up again by coming back over here coming back down to our palette here and I am going to be adding more white to this brown because I find it to be really very dark so which is fine for the top of the hourglass but for the sides I would rather it be just a little bit lighter. So, back to the process of mixing white paint on our nice chocolate here. There we go. I think that will be fine. No need for more there we go so once again i'll bring the camera back up and i'll zoom back in there we go just come back here for a few seconds There we go. Let's switch.
switch back to camera number one. There we go, very good. All right, definitely kind of had to concentrate there for a few seconds. Let's bring this over here like that, why not? So how does this look? Let me just step back, take a little look from afar. Okay. Not too bad. Let me just make this a little bit wider right here. And a little wider right there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm just going to add a little more brown right in here. We'll do some shading once it's all dry or a little later maybe. Just to give it a little more richness. There we go. Whoop, uh, drop everything. Let's come back over here. And let me get the next so let's get the part to, let me just look at this one second here now I'm going to want to do the well I guess the part with the sand so I'm going to do that using some okra ochre yellow or beige whatever you want to call it and again i am going to just add a little bit of white and we'll use the original color as a shading for afterwards so just a little bit of white make it a little bit lighter just a little bit on the side like that
we'll do all the backgrounds today and then I guess we're going to have to let it dry for uh, tomorrow so we can finish the outlines and whatnot. But anyways, let's do this. Let me get my little palette out. I guess I'm going to use the same brush, but I'm to mix, I'm going to use this bigger brush just so it goes a little bit faster. Let me pull this out of the way. I am again going to come down here. What am I looking for? Let's go back and mix these colors together right over here. There we go. Let me pull that back. So there's our beige. Let's just add a little bit of white to it. Make it a little lighter. The color of sand from a beautiful sandy beach. Not like the beaches we have here in Nice, which are not beaches of sand, but they're they're stone pebbles. I guess maybe in six or seven hundred thousand years, they will be beautiful sandy beaches, but I don't think we'll be around to to check them out. I don't have that much faith in the human race, to be honest with you. That's why I've been painting these people with masks on for the last 30 years as a warning. But of course, who's going to listen? Those who, who can do something about it sure as hell won't. So. Here we have, it's a little bit lighter. Maybe I should add just a little bit more. Why not? Just like that. Again, we don't need very much paint. Don't have much of a surface. Just going to lighten it up a little bit like that. Bring everything back in the center here. There we go. Make a little. There we go. That should do it. So I'll bring the camera back up. Let's get back to our hourglass. I'll zoom back in a little bit before I, I go back to the other camera. There we go. There we go. I guess I can use the same brush I used before. So. So let me just take a, a few seconds, step back, take a look at this hourglass. I'm going to what? I'm going to want it to go something like that. And like that. That's just to give me an idea. Okay, so got that together. No. So let me just check out the computer, see where I'm at. Okay, so let's switch back to number eight. Number eight, the shortcut on my keyboard, which means camera number one. There we go. So I am going to 
move something like this. There will be a black outline eventually, so. I screw up by putting my hands in the paint, probably. Would be typical. So let's just get this done like that. Okay, how's our little stream going here? Let's all right, very good. So now I'm going to just add a little bit of this darker, darker beige. Just to make a little bit of shadowing. There we go. I just added a little bit of that burnt sienna with it just to make it just a little bit darker. There we go. Even though I know when the paint dries, it tends to get darker, but whatever. So very good. Let's come back to camera number one. I'll just be adding a little bit of this. Shading here and there. Just like that. Oops. Just get that out of the way. There we go. Very good. Very quickly come back, switch palettes, and go back with my brown to fix up my screw-ups. There we go. There we go. Very good. And let's fix up this screw-up right here. There we go. Okay, so now back to my first palette of uh, ochre yellow or beige and again i'm going to lighten up even more what we did earlier to make some highlights on my sand i'm just very quickly going to mix these 
the first coat of ochre with some more white. There we go. Find that happy middle ground, which looks like just like that. I guess I'm going to step back for a second, take a look also from afar. That looks good. So let's come back to our camera. Number one, and check this out. I have a little too much there on my brush. Just a little bit, just a little bit of highlights. Give it a little bit of richness, depth, and whatnot. There we go. And I'm going to just go back on my little... I mean, no one will ever see that, but what the heck. There. Now, let me come back, take a look from afar again. And that looks pretty good. So, now what I want to do is fill in the part that's see-through right there with our background. Not very complicated. The whole thing is going to be, uh, the whole um, hourglass will be outlined in black paint anyway, so it will stick out. So, let me get to my yellow here. My golden yellow that I love so much. And uh, get the right of another little palette right here. My knife. Again, very little surface to paint. So I don't need too much. Okay, this also is going to take main, a lot of little varieties and changes of this yellow. So I might as well add some white paint right away. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Paco Roger don't care. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So, a little bit of white paint here on the side. Okay, checking out the computer, making sure the camera and my brain are on the same wavelength as I'm also trying to concentrate and figure out this as well. So, very good. So I'm going to start with the, I'm going to start with the lighter yellow. And maybe take a slightly larger brush. Slightly lighter, larger brush. Why? Why would I want to do that? That's a good question. Okay, I'm going to do it with this. I'm going to mix these colors together. Hey, comment ça va? 
Hello, friends. I'm going to find and bring one corner for Sabri. You have to forgive my friend. Uh... In full stream, I'm sorry. I'm boring you. I'm really, really sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you very much. Get, come closer. It's, uh, oh, I, I uh, can't, you know, sexy I'm, Frenchman here I'm on the... I'm so shy, so shy. <laughs> so shy, like a bottle of whiskey. No, come on. <laughs> the girls like seeing a sexy Frenchman, you know. The what? The girls, you know. Yes, but not sexy Frenchman. No, it doesn't you... work. Okay. The wonderful Spider-Man. <laughs> 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 Okay. Well, I don't bother you more if you want to be content. Thank you. Uh, and yeah. the top. Okay. And for the moment, and the good moment of painting. Yeah. I'll come upstairs when I'm finished. Oh, very, very nice English accent. <laughs> Nearly American, you know? Yes, I know. <laughs> you sound like Trump. <laughs> exactly, like Trump, yeah. <laughs> Trump. See you later. Okay, so let's get back to work. So where am I on my cameras here? Yes, that's what I thought. I forgot to switch over. Let's do that right now. And, uh, okay, so I was doing this bright yellow here, a little bit the background, which of course is going to change a little bit, of course, in a few seconds. I don't know why I'm trying to hug these, the upper edge, because there is, like I mentioned, all this is going to be outlined in black. Doesn't really matter. I guess it's force of habit. So we got that part done. Let's get this lower part done as well. Something like that. Okay, let's go up here. Let's get the other side done as well. There we go. Okay. Make this a little bit wider on the base. Just like that. Right away I'm going to add some uh, shading with my darker golden yellow. Just like that, and we'll do the same on the bottom part, and then we'll just inverse the whole process for the rest of this painting, on the rest of the sides, I mean. Just like that, a little bit of this yellow. I went into the, in the wrong area. Let me just switch back here. Fix my little screw up right here. There we go. Okay. 
Now what? Now let's get the get this yellow part done as well. So just come over here, grab a little bit of water, mix this paint so it flows better because I have it on very thick here and I didn't really work it. So I'll do that right now, just take a few seconds. Actually, I'll even add just a little bit of the lighter yellow with it. So it stands off a little bit, looks a little different than the background. A little lighter, there we go. So let's come back to camera number one. Oh, I guess I am on, what am I on? The dual cameras, okay. So. Again, there's no need for me to get too close to what's already there for the simple reason that, as I've mentioned several times now, it will have a, an outline Just like that. And let's do the other side as well. There we go. Oops, screwed up a little bit there, no problem. Fix it in a second. There we go. Go back in the brown, fix up my little screw up right here. There we go. Oops. So I'll fix this as well. There we go. So I got that part done. Now what? Now I'm going to add again just a little bit of the lighter yellow just to shade a little bit all this up. Just a little bit of shading here and there. Very discreet. You can barely see it. There we go. Let me just step back again, take a look. Very good. So, we are there. Now, I want to get my kind of magenta that I was using the other day to do the stems of those flowers right down here. So let's just come back over here for a few seconds. Get another palette as well. There we go. Just a little bit like that. Again, I'm going to need some white.
And the right paintbrush, of course, my usual. So where's my white? Well, it's right here. And my knife. Whoops, there we go. Jeez. So let me put this away. Let me use this wider brush just to get the right kind of a pink that I want. Not very complicated. I guess I'll do this on camera number one. I'll bring it down right here. This again is to kind of do the stem of those flowers that you can see around around our hourglass. So I just want to do a little bit like this. Have it a little bit lighter since it's seen through the glass. There we go. That should do it right there. Just a very light, slight little pink with magenta and white paint. All right, nothing too and we'll zoom back in here. Just like that. Okay, let's come back here. And I am going to step back for a second, take a little look, see what's going on. Okay, very good. So, move this over here. All right. I hope I didn't put too much water. It looks very liquid, very liquid. That should do the trick. So let's come back to camera number one. Let's just paint these little stems here. Of course, my yellow paint is really having a hard time going over this because it's not dry. What the heck? I don't want to get too much of this magenta in there. Just a little bit. Just like a little hint of it. Just like that, yes. So 
So how does that look? If I step back for a second, take a look. And I think that's going to be just fine. I am going to add just one more little dab right here. Just like that. Okay, very good. And when we get the black outlines, it will change drastically. I am going to come back to my brown paint, though, and work that a little bit more. I'm not quite satisfied with it. So I'm going to come back to my first, pa my first uh, palette here. Come on, baby. There we go. I very rarely use brown paint, I must admit. So it is pretty stiff in its tube. And I'm just going to grab this brush here and rework it a little bit. So it goes down on the canvas the way it should. I want it to glide even though there isn't much surface there to cover, I still want it to, to have total control over what I'm doing. Yeah. And for that, the paint has to be the right texture. There we go. So, let me go back to here. I kind of have to stand in front of the in front of the lens, I'm afraid. I have to just to get back to where to what I want to do. I have no choice. Just like that, and I want to just do a little bit of shading right down here, like that. Very good, and I'm going to do the same on the stems that are going down. Just a little edge like that. You can barely see it, but... There we go. Let me step back again, take a look, see what it looks like. Yes. Very good. Okay. So that is it for the hourglass until the paint dries. There is not much I can do right now. I don't want to add the leaves or the black outline until it's totally dry. So we'll do that tomorrow. So to kick off today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up on our little blue spot right here on our little space and I'm going to paint my symbol of positivity which is a satellite heart. So I'm going to do that right now. 
and we'll call it quits for today. And I'm going to do that now because I'm kind of warmed up. So it's the perfect moment to do something where I need to be concentrated. So it looks like it's now or never. Come hold me tight. Ease me, my darling. Gonna make things all right. Tomorrow might never come. So I'm just going to looking for a brush to mix the white paint again so it's the texture that I enjoy. So I'm grabbing a larger brush that hasn't been tainted by any of the other colors. And I'm just going to work this white paint. And I'm not going to do that in, with the other camera because, frank, quite frankly, white on white won't be able to see much anyways. And I am going to concentrate on this because this is a part that can very easily screw up, even though I've painted a, a thousand of these hearts. But I'm very picky with them, and I want them to be just, well, I hate to say that word, but just perfect. And it's a word I don't like to use because perfection is such, well, we can debate what is perfection, even if it exists. Okay, so there we go. It's kind of, I'm sure I can control this, and I'm sure it'll be opaque. It should be just right. So, dry up my brush, get it ready to go, and I'm just going to, well, maybe get the other camera ready. There we go, bring this guy over. I'll put it over to the side. There we go. Somewhere's like right there, I guess. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I don't want this to be too big either. I don't want it to be too overwhelming. That's why I have to stay concentrated, make sure I have the right brush. I don't want a brush that's too wide, too big, where I lose total control over. Somehow, I don't know. Maybe this... Okay, I'm going to start. We'll see. Let me just switch over to camera number one. Let me just get this last part 
Of course, all this is going to be outlined and colored so I can always catch up the major little screw ups. So how does that look? Well, 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 believe it or not, it looks just right. When it's all colored in, I'll just go over everything so it's nice and opaque. Again, it'll be colored in and have a black outline as well. So. Now if I keep touching it, I'm going to screw it up, so I'm going to just stop right there. And just get this maybe last little edge. Why? I have no idea. There we go. I might fatten the sides, but I'll worry about that when I actually do the when I actually do the coloring. So let's come back here. Let's put the cap back on. Let's rinse off this little brush that served me so well today. Move the camera back here. Take a look from afar at what, we're, what we've done so far. There we go. So that's what we did today, the little heartsy, the hourglass, at least the first part of the hourglass. And we'll Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna complain, doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna leave it like that. So that comes to the conclusion of our day. Let me just put this baby back here. I'll come over to the computer. And like usual, I'm going to leave you with my schedule. I'm going to thank you again for joining me today. Even though I didn't quite stick to my schedule because of my microphone problems, but we got all that solved. And uh, I will be back. Uh, so what day are we today? I have no idea. We're Tuesday, right? Ah, oh, very good. Tuesday. Okay, cool. So we still have a lot in the week, so we can get a lot done. That's excellent. So tomorrow, I'll be back here at 9 a.m. We'll continue and maybe finish off the hourglass. I'm not sure. If not, we'll move on to my little heart, do the space. And if we don't do that, we'll work on the guy. So we got plenty of choices, a lot of stuff to do. And uh, hopefully by Friday, we'll have just about everything done except for the frame. So we're moving right along, and that's awesome. So here is my schedule, and like usual, I'm going to say, ciao, mes amis. See you tomorrow. <laughs>